In this video, we're going to have a look at how to get data from PDF files into your Power BI or Excel reports. We're going to look at how you can extract table data from these PDF files or how you can combine multiple PDF files and extract table data from them and combine them into one. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the scenario is that they have a PDF file, which is sort of like an invoice file, and I've created a sample one here. And what they want to do is they want to extract the table data from these invoices. Now they want to analyze this data that they have in here and put them into Excel. Now this table that we're using at the moment is fairly simple and you could probably recreate it yourself. But what they were trying to do is if you try to copy this table like this and go to Excel and you know try to get that table data, it's not very, it's not very straightforward. So you'll most likely need to input these files manually and creating them into tables in Excel, which could be time consuming. So I recommended using Power Query either in Excel or Power BI to get their table data from PDFs into kind of a table format. So let me show you how to do that first. So we're going to start with an empty report here in the Power BI desktop experience, which we have installed in our local machine. You can do this in Excel and I'll show you how to do it later in Excel. But for now, what you'll need to do from here is under the home ribbon, select get data, go to more and look for the PDF selection here. So click connect and it will try to ask us from which or which PDF file did you want to uh, get your data from? So we're going to choose one of these invoices that we have here. I'm going to choose the January 2024 invoice. Give it a few seconds. So basically, it's given us some suggestions on what tables it found in this invoice that you could potentially use. So you have the whole page itself, which you would probably need to clean up yourself. Or you can choose from one of these three suggested tables. So it picked up the fact that there is a table at the very top, which is to do with invoices and dates. Then you have table two, which is exactly what we need. And then table three is the kind of conclusion, the, the subtotals and totals. But for now, let's say that for this purposes, we need the table two. So which is just the breakdown of the invoice itself so that we can do the maths ourselves. So you simply need to tick the table and hit load. Now you can do a bit of cleaning up to this if you needed to, like remove some columns and rename the, the query. But for now, what it gives you is easy access and basically ready for you to use without doing anything in Excel manually. So that was pretty simple, right? That's how you basically get data from PDFs into Power BI or into your tables. Now, you notice that in that folder, we actually had multiple invoices. So we only pulled in the January data, but in fact, there are multiple invoices here for different months and they all contain different values. So what we want or what I'd like to show you is how you can combine these files into one table without having to do any extra work. And also make sure that if you have new invoices coming in the future, that they can also be kind of done the same way so that you don't have to do any work at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Power BI. We're going to go home and transform. We're going to bring up Power Query, which is where the queries kind of get created and where we kind of clean them up. I'm just going to delete this for now. We're going to start from the very beginning. So we're going to go new source. We're going to go to hit more. But now instead of selecting the PDF by itself, we're going to select folder instead. So we're going to target the whole folder. So if we hit connect here, 
it's going to ask us for the folder path. So now that I've put the directory of the folder is, so this is basically this folder where we have stored all of these invoices. We're simply going to just target that folder and hit OK. And now you'll notice that it can see three different files here. So the three PDF files that we have in this folder. So what we're going to do is hit combine and transform, which will do the combination of files for us. So it's basically asking you how to transform each of the files in this folder. And it needs to follow a certain rule. So for example, the first file, the first sample file, gets transformed by simply just targeting the second table, for example. If we hit OK from here, what it will do, or this combination will do, is it will create a loop that goes through every single file that transforms your other files the same way. So it goes to the second file, it will take table two, it'll go to the third file, and it takes table two as well. And then that will make, and then at the end, what it, and at the end, it will simply combine all of these tabled files into one single table or one query. So we're going to select table two for now and just show you how that looks like. And here we go. So as you can see, you have different rows of data here with things like their hourly rates, the total, the kind of description, how many hours worked, and also the source, so which file that row of data is coming from, which is really handy if we want to distinguish them in the future. So now that we have that, we simply do close and apply. And for these purposes, we're not going to do too much cleanup. I just want to show you how the kind of data in the tables look like. And there we go. So you basically have three invoices worth of data loaded directly into Power BI into your tables without doing any manual work at all. And what's interesting about this feature is that once you have that set up, you simply need to add new invoices into this folder and it will automatically be updated if you hit the refresh button. So I have in this temp folder another invoice, the April invoice. So I'm just going to put that into that folder as an example. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the refresh button from Power BI Desktop. And there we go. Without doing any more work, it's already added that invoice row data into our table here. One thing to bear in mind with this solution, though, is that it kind of hinges on the fact that the invoices and their layout uh, stays the same, and that the only thing that changes is the information in those tables. So uh, if you remember how we chose the sample file earlier, if that file or the subsequent files that get added into this folder does not follow the same layout, you might encounter some issues. So just bear that in mind that the invoices need to be the same layout every single time for this kind of automation to work. So what if you want to show the months of when the invoices have come from? Now, it's actually fairly simple, and there are multiple ways that you can do this. If you look at the data that we have itself, you can see that we can derive it directly from this source name here. So we simply just using some you know text manipulation, we can actually derive the invoice month from this source name itself. So we don't really need to do anything anything fancy. But let's say you can't always rely on the name of the invoice itself, and you might want to use the invoice dates within the invoice itself. So going to the invoice, you will notice here that we have a date here. And let's say we want to use this date in, as our invoice dates inside our tables. Luckily, when we first tried to get the PDF, the table that contained the invoice date actually exists that we can use. So we can utilize that uh, to make sure that we're using that date. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go back to the Power Query here. We're going to go uh, to the recent sources. Uh, this will just have the uh, folder path that we had earlier, which is the test invoices. We're going to go combine and transform data. Now, from this selection, instead of selecting table two, which has the kind of the 
table invoice items that we need, we actually are going to import the table one, which has the dates that we want to use. So we're going to hit OK. And what it will do is it will create another set of kind of helper, helper queries here. And what it results to is basically this query with a bunch of invoice dates. So I'm just going to name this one dates. I'm going to disable the load because we don't really want to load them by itself. And from here, we're simply going to filter any text that contains date. So contains, we'll look for date. So now we can only see the ones with the date. And now we simply go transform, or rather, we're just going to remove the, the date at the very beginning. So we're going to go to text filters, or rather, replace values. We're going to replace the date at the very beginning with empty. So we just have the date there. And then lastly, we simply go back to the test invoices. We go merge queries. It's a bit of a roundabout method, but this uh, makes sure that you're using the invoice dates in the invoice documents. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I wanted to show you how it works. So go to source name, which will be the linking or the, the, the common column between these two queries. We're going to expand it and just get simply the invoice dates. And there you go. So you now have the right or the invoice dates for each of these row items in our invoices table. So, and that's it. So you've been able to get data from PDFs into your Power BI reports. Now, just because I was showing it in Power BI doesn't necessarily mean that it's only for Power BI because we've actually been exclusively been using or doing transformations within Power Query, which is also something that exists in Excel. So you can do the exact same thing that we've been doing right now, but except in Excel. So I want to show you how, or quickly show you how that looks like. So from here, you simply go to get data, you go from file and either from PDF or from folder, and you'd basically be able to do the exact same thing. And while this method is useful for sort of, you know, one off analysis or one off kind of data extraction, you can also use it as part of your sort of Power BI solution. So if you have PDFs, for example, that is stored in online repositories like SharePoint or OneDrive for Business, you can get those files, those binary files, and work with them into your Power BI or Excel reports, which is pretty interesting. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to get table data from your PDF files into your Power BI or Excel reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.